Well, Doc, um, can you reveal a team for us? Uh, not yet. No, we've got a couple of outs. Um, so Jess Foley will miss uh, with a with a foot sprain, and Eloise Jones will miss as well. So she's just got a, a little bit of a um, sternal thing, which is shouldn't be too too bad. But uh, six day breaks just going to be a bit too short for her, unfortunately. And the ankle, um, obviously, it was a tweak. It was a bit of a roll, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's actually midfoot, midfoot sprain rather than it end up in that rather than the ankle. So yeah, so we will wait and see. It's. Uh, uh, they're a bit unknown. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully, she'll be back in within the season's time frame. But uh, but yeah, it's it's going to be touch and go probably. Is that serious, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. It's not uh, it's not ideal. You feel like you're a bit cursed at the moment with injuries? No such thing, mate. No, nah. I'd rather have no injuries, but we have them and uh, we get on with business. There's a few there's a few in the in the league. You know, lots of teams de dealing with that challenge, but uh, it's all right. It's all part of it. Big game this week, um, you know, it's yes. five season. It's, yeah. it's almost getting to a normal slip up stage, isn't it? Yeah, well, we play the last four games are against all of our Conference A rivals, so ultimately, the team that is uh, that wins enough of them will, will get the opportunity to play finals. So we're uh, in some ways there was you know some criticism of the conference model last year, but it's played out that the team that the teams that you're playing are the teams that you're going to have to fight it out with. So we're pretty comfortable with that. Um, yes, this game's big. The next one will be big, and so will the last two. So uh, it's uh, it's good. It's the, it's the nature of the AFLW. Yeah. Do you feel like you've got a fair bit of improvement still left in the group? Yeah, I think I think at times we've played you know some pretty solid footy, uh, even on the weekend. You know, the second half we probably drifted a little bit from where the way we want to go about it, but the first half was solid. So it's it's probably just a matter of maintaining that consistency, which is you know a good challenge. Uh, probably the Geelong game is the one game where we put in the four quarter performance. Uh, so in terms of improvement, the pr the improvement we've seen what we want to see. We just Got to see it for a bit longer. Yeah. Mm. Just how pull up after yeah. The yeah. So that was obviously the the most you know, one of the most pleasing aspects out of the game is that both our, our girls were coming back from long term injuries got through. Uh, you know, obviously they played a game of footy, so they're a bit a bit sore, but ultimately uh, in in good health and uh, and ready to go again. How did Rigo? Same. Yeah. Exactly. So. Uh, yeah. Once again, um, it's were, we probably she probably ended up playing significantly more minutes than we had anticipated. But the the pleasing aspect of that was that she was able to get through it, and that therefore gives us confidence that you know if, if required she can do that again. How much um, are they out, are they like 100% condition at the moment? I mean, when do you think they'll get there for the run home? Like, yeah, uh, don't quite understand rusty, the question. They'll be, they'll be a bit rusty at the moment. I guess coming back. When do you think of the oh, the players coming yeah, back? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, apologies, didn't understand what we were getting to there. But uh, yeah, ultimately, um, yeah, if you've been out of the game for an extended period of time, then it, yeah, the reality is it probably will take you a week or two. But the other reality is we don't have a, have a week or two. We need them to be fully firing from the get-go because, uh, yeah, as I say, there's four weeks left in the season. So if you spend four weeks getting ready, uh, the season will be over. <laughs> Do you think that's going to change in the near future? Like, it's a longer... Yeah, so, so the next two years it'll go nine and then ten. Yeah. Uh, and then beyond that, there'll be a, a renegotiation. The CBA will, it will come through and, you know, we'll see what it'll, what it'll be. But what is good is that the, the players have got certainty around the, the length of the season for the next two years. And, and, you know, obviously everyone wants more games, but I think the, the build is, is probably appropriate. Um, and we, what we're seeing is... A condensed season can be pretty exciting, you know, because for all the reasons that you've highlighted, each game is critical. So, uh, so while more games will be better, um, you know, I think the fact that we know what we've got and that it is this, you know, intense period, kind of works.